Back when I initially installed Linux on my Microsoft Surface, I was still studying for my bachelor's degree and there was one application in particular that I just couldn't get to work properly. Microsoft OneNote. While accessing my notes and collaborating with others was still possible via the cloud version, it's just not as intuitive to use as I heavily relied on my stylus and let's just say it's not as fun to use. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two of my favorite open source alternatives to OneNote, which still help me to this day. Let's start off with the lesser known application Rnode, which you can download from FlatHub or your Linux software store. As you can tell, Rnode heavily promotes the usage of a stylus or tablet pen of your choice. Unlike many other drawing apps or the online version of OneNote, it also supports my stylus buttons, which can be mapped to the quick settings at the bottom. For example, if I want to draw with my pen tip, I select draw. If I want to bind the rubber to the back of my pen, I select the rubber icon with it. This way you can easily create your own personal workflow. While our notes interface is a bit off-putting and takes a while to get used to, it's actually not that hard. The quick settings below each trigger is switched to their representative settings on the left side. If we take the drawing mode for example, we can select the brush style, how the path should be drawn, aka how smooth the lines are and how pressure is being applied if your stylus has a sensor for it. You can also select a thickness preset for quick notes or customize it to your liking. Our note also allows you to quickly generate linear or curved shapes by providing a few presets and an easy and uncomplicated text editor, though it sadly lacks styles or markdown support. Okay, yeah, but that's not all it can do. If you allow our note to access your home directory with flat seal, an application that can break flat packs more open, then you can also import images, text files, and yes, even PDFs. This is incredibly useful for taking handwritten notes or marking something in different colors. You can do all the basic transforming stuff like moving or rotating, scale it freely or proportionally by holding down control and select and reorganize pages to your liking. If you don't like our notes default look like me, then you can customize it in the settings under the document category. I myself am more of a dark mode person and don't need any assisting patterns, but if you want to use them, then go ahead. You can of course also change the format of your page by selecting a template or entering custom values, deactivate autosave and adjust some general settings like the cursor when drawing or hovering over your screen. Depending on the hardware that you use, you might also be interested into the settings at the bottom, whereas you can permanently bind actions to your stylus or tablet buttons. This of course depends if your device is properly supported or not, but it should work theoretically. Okay, so our note is a really awesome tool, especially if you're looking to mainly take handwritten notes on your tablet or a similar device that features a touchscreen. It's not overly complicated, it's easy to get and set up, but there are a few things to consider. For once, like I mentioned earlier, its user interface is not the best and it sometimes feels like some settings are in the wrong place. You also need to set up some flatpak permissions as its default ones only allow you to open and save to just a few directories. But the main problem that might become an issue for you is that its file format is not considered stable yet which means that it still gets updated or optimized and newer versions of the software might not be able to properly handle old files or vice versa. So it's very important to export your notes to a different file format from time to time. But otherwise, our note is pretty much the best OneNote alternative when it comes to quickly take handwritten notes. If you are however more into text-based notes and just need to draw something from time to time, then maybe the better alternative would be Choplin. In contrast to our note, Choplin doesn't support drawing out of the box at all and purely focuses on text. Its default view features two windows, whereas the left side contains the editable markdown formatted text with a preview on the right. If you prefer to edit your notes without markdown, then you can switch the mode right here. Doing this automatically gives you access to more templates and styles, which allow you to format your text without the need to know markdown. It's also quite useful if you want to learn its syntax. 
Like in our node, you can also import images and PDFs. Though it's not as powerful, since you essentially just embed the files instead of fully making them customizable. On the other hand, Joplin provides you with more features out of the box, like the ability to create several pages, to do's, to edit your files in external applications, which can be quite important for code snippets and supports a wide range of plugins that you can install straight from its settings. I for example installed Freehand, which I can use to draw. It's not as sophisticated as our node, but it works. Oh, and I think I should also mention that Joplin officially supports cloud syncing to Dropbox and OneDrive, which might be interesting for some of you. Now, it does not support concurrent working, unless you use their own service, but being able to sync to OneDrive in particular is already a pretty compelling point when looking for a OneNote alternative. If you're tech savvy, then you could also try to sync it to a different cloud, because it's technically possible. So yeah, those were the two best alternatives to OneNote that I have found personally. There are of course many more applications that have a similar feature set. Some of them are even well-known proprietary solutions, but our Note and Joplin have both just worked best for me. Both incorporate two major aspects of OneNote whilst each improving their own strengths. But if you're out to use them, then you should know that if you want to get the OneNote experience, then you realistically can only use OneNote. Both Rnode and Joplin are not clones, and they don't try to be, but they both work incredibly well for taking notes, and that's what it's all about. Before I end this video, I want to ask you what your opinions on Rnode and Joplin are. Are there any more programs that I should take a look at? Please let us know in the comments down below. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like, and why don't you also subscribe to the channel as well while you're at it. Thanks for watching, and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.